this time. Everything. God almighty. Oh Christ. We never had a chance. Good morning, evening, and night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Today we're going to be playing Still Wakes the Deep, episode 4 in the final part. Where we left off, we were going off to pretty much save Roy. We really need to save Roy. We need to make sure he gets back with us. And we can't let this thing on the rig consume him. So, let's just hop right back into the gameplay, and I'll see you there. What the... Oh, it's reacting how close I'm getting. Looked. That is actually pretty neat. Are you... A barrel? Get out of my face! What's going on? Sticking to me. Can I grab it or no? Grab it. Oh my. Okay, I gotta let go. Oh my goodness. I get it. I get it. You ought to be literally touching the entire ground. Come on. Stop! Like, uh, the, the dashing is... Uh, it's making me angry. Oh my lord. Use RT to float. Use RT to grab. Use R... Like, come on! Swim. I hate feeling slow and sluggish. That's my biggest peeve. But of course, I gotta swim through oil and water. I'm coming, Roy. My daughter, my daughters will have a, a godfather. No. Locked. Yep. Get going. Get through flooded engineering. I will. I will, and I will save my best friend, Roy. There's oil in here. There must be a leak somewhere. Fuck. That's all we need. Ah! <sighs> Please tell me there's not like a waterborne monster. What the? You were athletic all game and all of a sudden you're like fat. Are you like dumb now all of a sudden? What happened? What happened, McLeary? D of course, of course. D okay. I'm dead. I'm dead again. Swim. Hold straight if you want to swim faster, and then I'm swimming the same speed.
What? Now I gotta swim this whole thing again. Come on. Dude, where am I supposed to go? It's yellow. Go! Oh my god. Are you... I'm gonna die! I'm going to die again! What is going on?! I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go and it's not telling me where I'm supposed to go. It shows me yellow and then it doesn't let me go through. No, sorry, you're stuck. It's the same thing. Why am I stuck? Really? I, I don't know why my character... I don't know why McCleary can't just crawl through that. I actually don't know. I am lagging horribly now after all the... How many assets are there? Why am I still drowning? Dude, you're not... Okay. McLeary, I'm getting kind of sick of you. You're trying to make me angry right now. Climb, climb, climb. You know, I was feeling real bad for McLeary, and then all of a sudden at the end, he's just... He just seems really slow, dumb, and just... I don't know. I, I just... All of a sudden, I've 180 on McLeary. Okay, yeah, McCleary, you're, you're, you got like... What? McCleary, you have like brain rot, dude. Why are you like this? How far down did I go? Confused. Am I missing something? Wait. What? What? Okay, I need to look back at the recording later and figure out what that was. What just happened when I fell? My brain rotting? What did I miss? Fucking cold. Here. Warm up. I'm in a fucking nightmare. <laughs> that can't be real. Come on, guys. Come on, keep it together. Fuck's sake. <clears throat> well, enough waiting around. <sighs> All right, let's go save Roy. You gotta save my man Roy. Uh oh. Look at that. That is some weird shape, man. I feel sick. It's so odd to think that. Oh. Is that. I'm going to book. Christ, that stuff is rank. He turned into a. This was a bathroom. I didn't realize he was in the bathroom when he mutated. Ah! Oh! It's like gooping me up. It's gooping me up. Let's get out of here. All 
police. Oh, what is going on? Gotta be a vent up, down, fucking somewhere. Where, oh, where? There we go. Right here. Right here. Anyone in here? Oh, Jesus. This is horrible. I can't open that door. These tendrils, dude. <laughs> Who is it now? At him? Jesus. Ah! <laughs> Climb. This is wild. Keep going. Keep her going. Fuck. Ah. What the hell? How did they get like that? Christ, the trots do this. Roof access. But I'm so close. That. Dude, where is he? Okay. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. I love me some red velvet cake. I don't know what else to talk about right now. I'm very stressed out. What the- what is happening? Fucking thing's locked. Jesus. Bastards here still work, man. Get up! Eat you. Yeah, you are, Kaz. Fuck! Of course. Trots, why? Oh! Get through! Ha! 
I'm good. You can stay stuck there. Stay in there. Oh my god. All the oil in the water. Roy's insulin is here. There we go. I got what I needed. I've got to make it like it was, Kaz. What is that? What? What the? It has a. Gra it has gravity. Roy, he up here. Jesus, it's moving all the other place. Yeah, it took over this whole area. It took over the whole rig. I must be out. Thank Christ. Roy! Roy. Roy. Roy, I got insulin. Talk to me about mine. Come on, come on. Roy. No. Roy, wake, wake up. Wake up, you prick. Please wake up. No. Wake up, come on. Feel his pulse and put insulin in him. Please, back my come on, back Christ, don't leave me. Dude, check Roy, his pulse and give him line. the insulin. I'm scared, Roy. I'm fucking terrified. What am I gonna tell Susan? Hey. <laughs> I mean, she's gonna fucking kill me, man. You know? You, big man. She really loved you. So did my girls. I mean, what am I gonna tell them? <laughs> oh, sorry. Your uncle Roy's not coming home. That's. I, I know. Me and Ollie. I love this big man, do you hear me? I love them. Is there like, they leave anything? Who's this? Finley, Kaz. You got it to Roy. Good. Look, Kaz, the water's up to Admin, so I couldn't get to Marine Control. You need to try and get there from where you are, all right? Jesus. Aye. And that English bastard better come and all. He can't stay in a half hour, though. Kaz? Kaz, he's still there? When you're not shouting, I start to worry, like. Is Roy making a fuss? Put him on. I'll get him tail. Oh. Uh, Guys, for fuck's sake, what's going on? Roy's no coming. Ah, oh, Jesus. God, did not make it? It was too late. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Kaz. You know, we all loved the big man, eh? I let him down. He was relying on me. No, no. No, you did everything you could. You went by for him. None of this is your fault. It's not anyone's. Look, I'm sorry, Kaz, but we need your help here. We're all fucking good down otherwise. Aye. I want half this fucking wreck. Good. Then you need to find a way across the deck, get to Marine Control Room, and call me when you get there, and I'll talk you through it, all right? Right.
Yo, rest in peace to the man Roy. Suze was wrong. You're not a cook. You are indeed a chef. I mean... He, he, could he really not have gotten his insulin? Truly, now that I think about it, walking from the kitchen to the rooms. Was he really that scared, but he made it all the way up here? I still respect you, though. I'll miss you, Roy. This is depressing. Steady. This whole story is just a whole 180 on this man's life. It's it, it, he started off. <laughs> let, 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 let's honestly think about this. He started off with a loving wife, two daughters, Roy, his main best friend and main man, who was willing to get him a job and all the other stuff when he did bad, bad punchy punch on the person in the bar. <laughs> this all started because of a fight in a bar and drinking. This is all because they just, they, they couldn't handle it and hash it out. They had, he had to leave the country and had to put, this is, we are witnessing the destruction of this man's life by an eldritch horror, which somehow the eldritch horror isn't even the worst thing that's going on in his life. Somehow. Even if this wasn't a part of his life, he would still be going to prison. Probably get a divorce. Roy wouldn't be able to see him. Okay, I get it. Rip. Like, if it weren't for this, honestly. Hmm. Uh, it's either this or prison, divorce. Never see your friend again. Like, it's getting wild. Is it moving? Made it. What's up? What? No, you and all. Nice and slow. That's all right. I just need to make a call. Yeah. Hi. Right. Here we go. Finley. I'm at Marine Control. I'm poor, the, uh, poor Roper. I'm not alone. Fuck. Is it that bastard Renick? No, no, no. Jesus. Jesus. It's keeping him alive. This Roper. He's all messed up. Gas, listen to me, alright? Listen. Alright. We need to keep it together. Alright, just tell me what to do. There's only two switches. You just have to find them. First, find the ballast operations panel. There'll be a switch there to put it into manual control. You flip that switch. Go do that, and then I'll talk you through the next part. Alright? Aye, alright. I'll look for it. Dude. There's like two people. <sighs> Why is it locked? Fuck's sake. And of course, let me guess, it's in his hand. Why wouldn't I be surprised? It's all right, pal. Here we go. I'll look after this now, all right? Huh? <laughs> Renick? Keep him away? Is he coming? Okay. 
Switch is at mine. Ben Lee. Who's next? Now you flood the forward pontoon, and I mean flood it to the fucking brim. Now hold on a minute. What? The pontoons are already fucked full of oil and gas. This might push it all up to the deck. We don't have a choice. The whole rig could tip over. Flooding that pontoon will at least give us a fighting chance. What about Brody? Is he no down there? He'll be out of there by now. He's done his part. We just have to do it all. Right? All right. It's coming for me. What? I keep him away. What was that? It's Roper. Never mind him. Flood the forward pontoon. I, I, hang on. He's actually... Way above my pay grade, this. <laughs> nah, that's no way. This one? There we go. Back to Finlay. I think Rennick is coming. Because he's freaking out a little bit more. All right, that's done. Now what? That's it. Come on, come on. Come on, what? It's moving. Do we do it? Did it work? Fucking aye. See, not so hope was after all. Oh, we did it. Thank Christ, finally. Uh, Roper, what are you talking what about, now? Rennick? Brody's got a plan. Meet us in drill ops as soon as you can. Okay, I'll meet you there. We're going to be all right, Cass. Yeah, I fucking hope so. I knew it. I knew it. Roper, you bad. No, oh, uh, you're not even worth it. You're not even worth it. I'm just gonna leave. You said Rennick's coming? Let him take ya. Let him take ya. Something feels wrong. I thought that was a tentacle. Shoes. Ah! Uh-oh. You you We're hallucinating. Oh, Fuck! Am I losing my mind? Did I make it? Uh, shite, that was close. I survived the flood. Now what? The fuck is making that noise? I swear. Fuck! Are you? Come on, you stupid tentacles! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Water, not again. Shit. Come on. Just go. Oh my goodness. All the water.
we gotta almost be out of here. Come on, we're almost out, McLeary. We just gotta meet up with Finlay. Are you? Yeah, I was about to say, if I get flooded again. in some of these windows and I'm trying to figure out why I'm being flooded out. Jesus. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Just go, McCleary. Get out of here already. Let me guess, Rennick. Rennick, you still here? You are gonna drown here. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, that was... Oh, fuck. You rest in peace, you... Christ. Uh -huh. I've got to get the fuck out of here. So one burned, one got crushed, and one drowned. That is a pretty good, uh, combo. Finley, thank fuck. Finley? What's going on? Who are you talking to? Kaz, you made it. Rody, what's wrong with Finley? She's freaked out here. Listen, Kaz. There's no much time. What? There's oil and gas getting in here. When it fills, it will be headed right up the drill pipe. What are you on about? I'm still in the pontoons. What? Uh, I've only got a couple of minutes. I can't stop it. The rig's a time bomb now. You understand? One spark and... You need to find a way off. Just get back up here and we'll work it out, yeah? I can't do that. What? I can't get back up. No, wait. I'm sorry. Wait, listen. You're on your own now. I'll come to you. All right? No, you won't. You wouldn't even get halfway to me. The legs flooded and the gas. It, it's not possible. You got your dive gear? Aye. Yeah, so you can use that? It's oil, Kaz. There's nothing to be done. Don't fucking say that. No. I knew the risk when I came down here. Fuck. <sighs> I can't lose you as well. Listen, I'm all right, Kaz. I'm... I'm already back on Sky. <laughs> You've ever seen water like that, Kaz? Clear. What? Peaceful. <laughs> you just let go, and... <laughs> everything's fine. Hi. That sounds beautiful. You go one day. <laughs> all right? No, fuck that. I'm the last one after this. <laughs> Kaz, 
you and Finley. You can do this, all right? I'm sure Aww. you would do something so stupid. Rory, you there? Cat? What's stupid? Talk to me. It's getting higher. Rory, I'm here. No. Buddy. I'm not going anywhere. Rory, I'm here. Stay with him. Rory. Finley. It doesn't fucking matter. He's deep and you don't think that matters. He was always gonna die. Boy them. Always. You see that? We can be fucking about with the lakey and pontoons. And we thought I won't mail. Watch new pals turn into monsters. Never once. Never fucking once have we tried to do what needed to be done. Calm down, alright? What do you mean? I mean. I'm ending this. Fucking hell. Finley. No. What? Come back. Finley! Finley! Ah. Uh. No! Finley! Leave me a Wait a minute! Way. Jesus! Come back! You're not Stop. thinking straight! Don't blow That's up. It. I'm seeing each other now! Finley! Get back over here! I'm not coming at any one of these things. You hear me? I, I'm not even running like I used to. Oh, God. What? Okay, I agree with Finley now. I think we should. We have to find a way out. Come on. Kidding yourself, it says I can't be the only one hallucinating to. I feel like she's hallucinating something. We're about to drown. I hear my wife. Oh. Just want to get back to her, Finley. To my wings. I hear my boy. When he was wee, you know. I, I hear him now. He's fucking Kate. He's singing. We're not seeing him again, Cass. There's got to be a ship coming. You, you said that yourself. No. Christ, Cass. We're infected. We don't want him coming. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, Finley. I don't know what to do. We've got to face it, cuz. What do you mean? That? We gotta burn everything. We, we gotta burn. Get back. We can't. Get back. But I can. What? There's no guy to stop with us. Fuck's sake, McCleary. For once in your life, be brave. Be brave for them. You can't save yourself. You can save him. Jesus, Finley. You want to leave it a chance? If it gets to the mainland, oh, you know I'm right. I'm always fucking right. Oh, Christ. 
We've got to burn. <laughs> all right. Die, all right. We've got to. Fuck. Oh, fuck. She was awesome. Let's do what we gotta do. We can't let this get to the mainland. for you. Love you all. See you later. me do you no sorry love you know me you could say that it's been a long time though Kaz hold up Susan Lafferty fuck's sake is that you the very same Christ Kaz but you look no different <laughs> I've still got the nose eh <laughs> well looks like someone did a good job of spreading about your face <laughs> Big man a drink. Jesus, Cass. Because I really want to be thinking about Roy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. He looks after me. He fucking adores you, you know. Well, I am easy to love, Cameron McCleary. Yeah. I'm finding that. Shut it, great Suki Jim. I do, though, Suze. I fucking love you. I love you more than anything in this whole world. Did that fan pop? Well, you're not so bad yourself, all things considered. Marry me. You what? I'm serious. Marry me. We'll make beautiful wings. I want to spend my whole life with you. Oh. He's experiencing heaven for one last She's time. She looks just like you. Thank God for that. <laughs> She's got your eyes, though. <laughs> Dad's eyes. I'm sorry, cuz. I know you'd have wanted him to meet her. Nah, fuck him. The bastard wasn't interested in me. Why would he care about her? He loved you in his way, cuz. I'll never leave you, Suze. I'll be at your side forever. And I'm always gonna be here for this win. His wife and family was his heaven. That's all he wanted. What? What? Oh. 
Aww. This is his... His home. No, don't tell me we're, like, looking over her now. Kiss the wings for me. Tell them I'll be back for Christmas. <gasps> no! Sorry, Suze. Hey, Cass. I'm sorry it's been so hard. I just wanted to send you this. To say we'll get through it. I know we will. Just take care out there and bring my beautiful big gallus man back home in one piece, okay? I miss you and I love you. And the girls miss and love you. I'm still raging at Roy, but he's a good man and I know he'll look after you. Whatever happens, we will be all right. We can weather this. Just wanted to say that to you, Kaz. To keep you safe and close and make sure you know to come home to us. I love you, Cameron McCleary. He... Be safe out there on those waters. He... Wanna... He... My man. My love. They loved each other with all their hearts. In the worst and in the best. The rig's gone now. That's that's pretty cool. That I, I like that little detail. So guys, yeah, that was still wakes the deep. Great game. Beautiful story. Oh my gosh, this this whole story started just cause he went to get a drink at a bar and got angry. He left the country, left his wife and two kids, went out on the ocean with his best friend on an oil rig to do electrical work when he wasn't even licensed, qualified or anything. Like I was saying earlier, like, if this eldritch abomination didn't rise from the water, he probably would have went to prison. Prison, jail, whatever, because he fleed the country. If we got in that helicopter five minutes earlier, who knows what would have happened. Cameron McCleary. His heaven. His home. His life was his wife and two kids. Now he will always watch over them. And Suze will never know what had happened to her husband and Roy. So guys, that was Still Wakes the Deep. Overall, great game, enjoyable story. Cameron and Suze meant to be together, definitely. They wrote these two characters flawlessly I feel honestly like you feel the love in these two when they speak they're never together in this at the same time in this game it's all memories all flashbacks and all the flashbacks and memories we see at the beginning are all arguments yelling but by the end it still shows even in the worst of their times they still loved each other and Kaz was going to go through everything he can to keep his family alive and safe. And honestly, who knows what this Eldritch Abomination was. And if they ever do a sequel to this game somehow with like his daughters maybe exploring or his wife trying to figure out what happened. That would be amazing. But that's uh, where I'm going to leave it off for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you all later. So, yeah. See ya.